Hello everybody, my name is Danny and I'm going to review Born in China. Of course it is a Disney nature movie. I pretty much have seen all of them. Um, I didn't see this one in theaters because probably because there was something else out. Probably an action movie or comedy or something. Um, I knew it was coming. I was expecting it, so I put it on my list to watch. Um, on the cover is the pandas. And I suppose that's what we all sort of correlate China with. But you will be shocked right away to find out that it really revolves more coming back to the leopards. And I never knew that, like, China had certain parts of it and certain areas, but I didn't think it would be, like, a common thing to think China and leopards. So, I don't know. I'm hoping mostly parents watch this review, and I didn't know if you are wanting to watch this because it's educational or because of the cute animals. Um, only like twice has the narrator done anything for me in these movies. And this one is pretty bland as far as narrators go. So I don't know if you're watching it for that anyways. But I sure didn't. And I thought he kind of stunk. So um, anyways. Um, I will say that... <laughs> You can see below my review of Boss Baby. Um, I do like watching children's movies or movies that are kind of intended for children because I like to see what um, the world is throwing at the child's age of America these days. And this is the second movie in a row that I've watched. The first one was Boss Baby and this one, Born in China, that... They talk about either tough love or ignorance as, as far as a parent to a child goes because of a new baby coming into the family. And so they're not loved as much because they're not the center of attention. And I don't know what the big deal is with that issue and why they feel like they need to talk about it. But... I mean, is that really something that we're talking about in schools? I need to ask, like, my niece and my nephews that are younger. It's just, like, why are we, why are we so obsessed with this? I'm sure nobody actually talks to their kids about it. Oh, yeah. The reason why I'm not paying you much attention is because your little sister needs way more attention. So we love her more. I mean, are kids worried about this? I think when I was the youngest of my family, that honestly, I never really thought about it. But if kids are worrying about it nowadays, then maybe that's why they're putting in so many sh movies and everything. So, um, obviously, the other thing with Disney nature movies that you kind of have to worry about is the circle of life. And I will say that there are two moments where prey is caught by predator in this movie. So... I don't know if kids get scarred by that, but I think it's kind of scar-worthy. You know, if somebody were to see that and they're going to grow to be a vegetarian because of it, and you might have to deal with that for a couple months or something as a parent. So um, it's just how, how Disney nature movies are, though. They deal with the natural order of things, and so I don't think anybody watching this is going to worry about that too much. Um my main reason for not liking the narrator is I kind of got drifted off when he said the part about some animals. He, you know, obviously he's trying to do the voices of them and everything. And he says that snow is cold 
because they're so young and they're like newborn little animals and everything. But I'm like, come on, man. You're like, who is watching this movie? I'm in America, for anybody who doesn't know, and I guess there are people in the world who have not seen snow before. But for animals that are, it's going to be their natural environment forever, I seriously don't think at any point of their animal brain they go, oh wow, snow is cold. I just thought that was like the stupidest line in the movie. So, um... He had some genuine moments, and the animals are really cute and adventurous, and it does educate you a little bit with migration um, as part of the story. I don't feel it gave as much of equal coverage to all the animals. They talk about the crane being majestic, but they don't give as much attention to it. Actually, I just watched it. I don't really remember it hardly being in the movie, so... Um, I think everybody will like this. I think Disney nature movies are very helpful and very fun to watch. Um, I would obviously suggest watching it because this is what kids need to be watching is to learn. They need to be, I, I know I talk about your kids getting scarred about like an animal, you know, maybe getting caught, but they need to know it. It's natural, and the great thing about these things is that they're entertaining and they're educational. So I'm going to give this movie a B for being boring to an adult, but being great for kids and educational like it needs to be. So good job, Born in China. I will watch all Disney nature movies because I think they're very worth our time. I'm Danny. If you like this movie review, please hit subscribe and enjoy your movies. Thank you.